Hello, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Um, okay. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to post something in your class and how to post something in multiple classes, how to mute students who are mischievous, and then how to post the assignments. First of all, coming up to post something in a class. For example, I'm saying good to see you back. And then I can even add something else along with my post. I can either use Google Drive, some link, some file which is already stored in my laptop or even a YouTube video. And then I'll click on post over here. Let's say if I wanted to share this post with multiple classes. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. I think I need to create one more post. Okay, you see over here, you can even take multiple classes and then if you type in something, hey, so this hey will be posted to every class that you have. Great. Okay. For example, let's see. Can A here? Can A has got this thing? Hey. Okay. So you don't need to worry that you have to create same post for each and every class. Let's say you're teaching 10 and you have section A, section B, so you don't need to create individual posts. Now I'll tell you how to create a classwork. I'll click on this over here, classwork. And then, okay, this is the assignment which I already created. Um, can I reuse it? Okay, you can even you, uh, do that. That you create assignment over here using the Google document. Um, so let's do the creation thing first. Okay. All right, you see over here, it's written add here, it's written create here. You can click on add and you can upload some already made assignment by which is stored in any of the following or you can even create one here are the multiple ways by which i can give the quiz to my assignment to my students i'm clicking on document because this is how we usually have our assignments okay first things first you see over here on the very top untitled document I don't want it to remain untitled. I want to be named as wait, assignment one. Okay. And then I create my assignment over here by typing anything. Okay. How is Time treating you. Okay. All right. I do that and then I click on Control S. When I do that, automatically everything, all of the changes you see over here, all changes saved in drive. Uh, yeah, whatever assignments you make, all automatically everything is stored over here. Okay. Let's say I click on Recent. And you see over here, assignment, the one I just described. Okay, it's stored here. Now I go back here. This is not the document which I want. I click on add. I click on Google Drive. And then I click on assignment one. And automatically it will be upgraded. Now, 
there would be three options I can choose from. Students can view file. It means students can only view it and they cannot write anything on it. The students can edit file. If I do that, so all of the students would start writing in the same Word document and everybody's work would be seen that this student has done this and this student has done that. I prefer make a copy for each assignment so everybody can do the work individually. All right. Next up, I can give it a title. Let's say intro, instruction, XYZ, whatever you want to give the instruction. Um, great. Again, you can post the assignment to multiple classes. Let's say I'm posting this to 10 ASL. Okay. And this I'm posting for all students. Okay. Points, it can either be 100 or any marks, or I don't know why it's showing here. It should be technically here. Anyways, or you can keep it ungraded. Okay. And then the due date. You can always set the due date. Date and time, both can be automatically set. I prefer you set it. If you do that, so students cannot keep on lingering the assignments and they cannot just procrastinate it. Now topic, let's say I create a topic. In fact, in my uh, trial video, which I tried to make it before making this video, I created this topic, you see Google Classroom. So if you create a topic, so automatically every time this topic which is already created can come here, come here. And then when you click on this topic, so all of your personal assignments which you have made, all of these would be shared here. I'm making a new one for you. Intro. I have, um, okay, all right, if I click over here, let's see, I set it up for, let me check it out. okay, I assign it here. Go back to demo A. The speech posted a new assignment called Inso. I go to 10A. The same document would be posted here as well. Let's say, hey, nobody responded to me and I want to re reuse the post. I can even do this move to the top or I can reuse the post. Let's say this is 10A and I want to reuse this post. Okay, I click here and then I say reuse it. So automatically, you don't need to type it in again. Automatically the post would be reused. Okay, right now it's just one word post. So uh, it is not uh, creating that much importance. However, this could be a long post, which I want to remind it to the speaker. Okay. Now I want to share with you how exactly this entire thing looks like in your student's laptop. In your student's phone actually. Wait. Okay. So this is how the entire thing would look to your students. Let's say your student would get a notification that an assignment is being sent.
and then the student would click click on intro and then okay over here you see the student would have opportunity to either comment over here and uh, where it's so, uh, showing zero class comments okay and in the intro or here the student can also ask private message okay what is it okay now i'll share with you why exactly it would and then uh, The student goes back here, check the assignment. Okay. And then to go on it, save it. And then you see edited assignment is there. Now, over here, the student would have to click on turn in in order to hand over the assignment. The student would click on turn in and then the assignment would be sent to the teacher. Students have this option to unsubmit the assignment and submit a new one till the due date is there. Okay, now let me share with you how exactly it will appear on the teacher's screen. Okay, so now I'm the teacher, okay, I have, I have posted and over here, let's bring the concept demo in, good. See over here, this is the assignment which I just created right now. And I have the report that one student turned in and one student did not. I'll click here. And when I'll click here, I would get the student's private comment. And this comment, I, I will also get a notification in my email that the student has emailed me. Okay. So let's say I go in my Gmail account. And over here, you see, I would get an email that the child has asked you something privately. Okay. All right. Now, these are the assignments that I have. Over here, I have, uh, when it mentioned over here that the student has turned in the assignment. I will click on it. Over here, I would see what exactly the student has done. And let's say I get really angry that how come the student just did this, okay? And over here, I'll, I'll read the student's comment that is sent privately. And I can respond here, uh, question mark. And then I'll post it to the student, okay? And then I would return it to the student. Student will be notified and don't check the any grade that you have kept. 
it was already the sample. Return the submission, return multiple submissions. Yeah, it was ungraded. So over here we don't have the marks column. Okay. So I am returning it to the student. And the student will be notified. Okay. Let's say now in my class. I create one more assignment class first uh, testing the concept with I want to reuse this assignment data. Yes, of course. I'll reuse this assignment. Uh, Create the assignment. I'll add it here. This is all. Previously, I posted the intro. Now I want to post assignment one. Okay. I say make a copy for each of the title and let's do it. Instruction is I'm keeping it smart. You can write extensive instruction for all. I'm keeping my other chart as well. I'm keeping this assignment of 100 marks. I want to set the uh, date. I can do that. I have to. I want to put it in the uh, under this thing. Now I can say this is a graph or I can assign. I can I want to assign it. Okay. Okay. Now when I'll go to demo A. The student will get it. Okay. Okay. I will. I just paused the video so I could attempt the quiz, uh, the assignment very quickly. Okay. I'm clicking on the question. Now, my class is refreshed, and let's see what does the Google tell me? What do I have to do? Google tells me in less do it, one assignment turn in and one assignment is assigned. So I click over here. Okay. I here to see what exactly the student has done. And then I see the student's work. The student has written the sources. Okay, I'm happy. The point I the student work. I can even add comments here. Add grade here. Let's say I'm giving the child 90 marks. And target, I write. Um, and then I click on the down. So students would get the uh, notification about the grade and the comment that I've left. Okay. I have returned. 
finding this. Okay. Now I go back to demo A and I click on grades. So when I click on grade, in that two, automatically the child's mark would be upgraded. And this child has not returned in the assignment. And let's say the due date is even gone. And the child privately sends some messages which are uh, not good, which I don't want see again so in order to okay what I'll do is here that I'll click on this checkbox I'll click here and then I'll go on actions and then I'll click on mute I suggest please don't click on remove uh, because I really discourage whenever the children are thrown out of the car so it's better to turn them mute when you will turn the mute, so students can still submit work or other students, um, sorry, students can still submit work, other students won't see it, can't apply to classmates' work, can't comment or post. Post we have already blocked, so they won't be able to even comment on your post. So let's say I'm muting Fatima. Okay, you see? Now let's say the child emails you and uh, apologize and you want to unmute the child so you can always click on action again and you can unmute it all right okay guys so you see this was the graded assignment you get the marks this was an ungraded assignment but you get a tick over here that this child has submitted and over here, no ticks are there. So this means this child has not done the work. Thank you, everybody. See you in the next video.